family's back and it was all a dream. <laughs> this throwback Thursday, 80s TV icons, actor Patrick Duffy and actress and singer Linda Pearl are launching, launching a tasty business venture ahead of the holiday season. Duffy's <gasps> Dough, which is a family sourdough recipe, is available for pre-order now as a starter kit. And orders start shipping out tomorrow. This morning, though, the legends and a lovely couple, I might add, Patrick and Linda, join us now live <laughs> to talk all about their love for baking and more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks that? for having us. Oh, oh thank God. you. I, I grew up with Step by Step. We were singing the song. I don't know if you heard it <laughs> before the I, commercial you know, break. I, I, I didn't hear the song, but I have never learned the words to really? that song. Really? <laughs> I, I go step by step, day by day, la, 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 <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Different kind of way. <laughs> I know that part. Well, it's a joy yeah. to have you on both, really and truly. So let's talk about this sourdough business. I uh, understand oh. the starter has been in your family some seven decades, Patrick? Yes, over 70 years. My mother got it in 1952 when uh, we as a family took a very long truck trip up to Alaska. It was given to her by an old woman there who said it was over 50 years old. So we've had it in our family in its pure state for, for well over 70 years, and we think it's well over 150 years old. Wow, and Linda, you love to cook, right? So this well, I do, but baking I have never baked in my life. Gotcha. I mean, no, just never. I mean, birthday cakes for the kids, but that's really the extent of it. So when Patrick uh, made the sourdough pancakes one morning, it was like, <laughs> what's that? And then we would take them. Patrick would make them and you know take them to uh, friends' houses and and you know everyone just loves the the stuff. So Patrick at some point said, gee, maybe I should start to share this with other people. It seems to bring a lot of joy. And that's apartment. where I stopped talking. <laughs> <Make it. laughs> she then said, okay. I can do this. Yes. Well, I don't know. I can do this is a stretch. I can't tell you the learning curve of being first time business people yep. has been extraordinary. We've been on an ascent just about like this <laughs> and still are. Um, for instance, yesterday, it took us eight hours to figure out how to print uh, labels for our first boxes, which start to go out today. We are so excited and grateful to people who have purchased, and we're going to start pushing them out the door. Push them out the but door. Stay, stay calm. Stay <laughs> calm. We're going to get your sourdough. Yeah, it's, you two are in it together. Absolutely. And it's really yes, a are. love, I guess, solidified in the kitchen. But I read that it started, uh, I guess, with a Zoom and a, a, a email text chat during the pandemic. Take us back. Well, there's something there's something very intriguing and connecting about Zooming, which is why we're both attracted to you right now, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, Thank uh, you. <laughs> I was, at, I was at my ranch in Oregon. She was here at her home in Colorado. And because we had a mutual friend, we would text. And then the mutual friend dropped out and we would phone. But we were this isolated. This is at the very beginning of the pandemic. And, and we're completely there. isolated and alone in each of our homes. With nothing to do. And it ended up where we Zoomed literally every single night, seven days a week for over two months, for over two or three hours a night. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we got to know each other so well that we finally said, well, we got to find out if it's more than just a Zoom. And it is. It's been a two and a half year Zoom and it's not unzoomed. <laughs> and you drove some 20 hours to her, Patrick, to make 23 sure it was the, hours. 23. Well, see, there you go. Yeah. 23 hours nonstop. I, I looked like a rat, a ground <laughs> rat. Well, I did until about three minutes before I entered her driveway, I pulled over to the side of the road. I put on fresh clothes. I gargled. I did my hair. I did everything I could possibly do, sprayed a little cologne and then drove the last like three minutes up and met her in the driveway. Styling. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the real We're tea. terrified though, like shaking like teenage kids. It's like, oh my gosh, because we've been talking, but had never no. You know, cross that threshold of right. a possibility to something yeah. more than a lovely friendship. So finally, I had to ask permission to kiss her, and that oh, was it. <laughs> I love this is my favorite song. I love it. Um, I have to ask you, though, when you all make your sourdough and you're at home enjoying yourselves, do you ever watch your old characters, you know, Bobby from Dallas or Ashley on no. Happy Days? You kick back and watch the classics? Never do. Um, it's interesting. I think having lived it and mm -hmm. also having lived it post 
television. In other words, people are always remembering it, which we love, and we very appreciate the, the longevity of our careers. And that keeps it alive for us. And we realize also that that's the reason people will tune in and look at our sourdoughs and then hopefully make that connection, because at least the characters we've always played were trustworthy. Mm. You know, and that's, that's really what we want to empower people to do is form a bond within their own family and friends. Mm -hmm. And more often than not, if you realize that when you have a party, everybody ends up in the kitchen. There's something attractive about the kitchen and what it represents. So our sourdough is get together, bake things, you know, teach the grandchildren how to bake, you know, cookies and tarts mm -hmm. and things and, and start to rekindle that traditional family relationship. Yeah, good things happen when people break bread. That's not an original thought, but we certainly felt that in our yep. in our lives. And, you know, just going back to if we reminisce about our careers, we don't particularly, however, we are any moment of the day very grateful for them. Very yep. grateful. Yeah, and we're Absolutely. grateful for you. Uh, where can people go to get this sourdough, the starter Thank cake you. and stuff? To the website, duffysdough.com. It's all online. And There's videos, yeah. instructions, you know, and this is a dehydrated sourdough starter. Oh. So there is a process by which you take these chips, which are the family sourdough chips, and then you put, you rehydrate them. Then you mix a little flour and sugar with them. You let them set for about eight to 10 hours and they start to reactivate. They live Ooh, again. Very and cool. Thank and you all the so instructions much. Are online. Yeah, Thank we you. really You're appreciate welcome. it. Yes. Congrats on this new chapter, and thanks for joining us here Thank on Lion Lunch Hour. We too Thank believe you. in the power of the kitchen and bonding. Take care. There you go. <laughs>